they're not my family. U.S. host raises eyebrows over Harry's terrible treatment to Charles and William. Prince Harry left U.S. TV host Savannah Guthrie surprised as he sidestepped questions about whether he missed Prince Charles and Prince William in his latest interview. The NBC's Today presenter said it was interesting to see Prince Harry refuse to address whether he missed his father Prince Charles or his brother Prince William. Ms. Guthrie noted the snub as she commented on the Duke of Sussex's latest interview with her program's co-presenter Hotacot B. She said, it's a fascinating conversation, I could listen all day to that. It's interesting what he said and what he didn't say. Ms. Cotby agreed, that's what I was thinking because, obviously, there are many issues with the family. And he was willing to share some of those issues and a lot of it, he was kind of keeping close to him. There's a lot left to unpack. The NBC host asked Prince Harry whether he missed Prince Charles and Prince William as they spoke during an exclusive interview this week. The royal refused to open up at first on whether he misses his family after spending two years in the US with Meghan Markle and their two children. He instead said he was focused on the Invictus athletes and their families as he spoke from the games in the Netherlands. During the interview with today's is Hoda Kotb, he went on to admit that of course he missed Prince William and Prince Charles. He said, for me at the moment, I'm here focused on these guys, Invictus athletes, and these families and giving everything that I can, 120% to them to make sure they have the experience of a lifetime. That's my focus here, and then when I leave here, I get back and my focus is my family, who I miss massively. But according to expert, Judy James, his body language could reveal even more than his words. Judy said, Harry describes a surprisingly close and intimate ongoing relationship with the Queen here, using body language that suggests he is relaxed, open and chatty when it comes to discussing his grandmother. Sitting hunched forward in his seat with his legs splayed he shows no signs of the traditional wariness and discretion that we usually expect when royals are asked about their private lives and relationships, she explained. The Queen in particular is rarely referred to by the firm except in a way that suggests a desire for privacy. But Harry's use of open hand gestures that are held high and which seem to perform ongoing mimes of his words to add emphasis and drama as well as aid understanding by planting a visual image in the viewer's mind, suggest he is comfortable with his fascinating snippets. Judy continued, he gives the impression verbally that he is the closest person in the Queen's life and the one doing the protecting of her. His ownership of his grandmother allows him to hint that she might get bored of birthdays. When he says this he performs a wide and emphatic lip clamped, knowing smile and nod at the interviewer that would normally be described as patronizing. Judy revealed, his desire to protect his grandmother and to make sure she's got the right people around her comes with a hugely emphatic mime gesture as he raises both hands high in front of his face to perform a circling movement as though showing us how he wants to throw a total shield around her. Referring to the right people around her Harry performs a head tilt to the side and one corner of his mouth curls up in what looks like a cynical or hinting expression. He tells us the Queen has a great sense of humor. Adding with me to reinforce the sense of a unique relationship and close bonding, the body language pro explained. Prince Harry was escorted to the Netherlands by Meghan Markle, who however returned to their children Archie and Lilibet in California earlier this week. Before arriving in The Hague for the opening ceremony of the Invictus Games on Sunday, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stayed in the UK and visited the Queen at Windsor.